The Oscars may be a big dumb crap ceremony that people don't take seriously anymore because they don't seem to take into account a lot of things that they should, including all the nominees. Agreed. Good yeah. night, everyone. Sometimes people aren't even nominated. Greta Gerwig, not nominated for Little Women. Adam Sandler, not nominated for Uncut Gems. Mm. Ridic. Or The Water Boy. That's right, all The Water Boy mm. in 2020. I'm talking about Greta Gerwig. I know what you're talking about. Jennifer Lopez, not nominated. Dolomite didn't get anything, which is outrageous. That is outrageous. Taron Egerton didn't get anything for Rocket Man. <sighs> Come on, he sung, snubs. He sung in that movie. He actually sung. Oh. It's a good movie. All right, fine, God. Yeah. Well, look, when I, I want to put that aside. They've done an Oscar snubs video before, mm-hmm. and they'll probably circle back to that next year, you know. Mm-hmm. I want to do a video on some of the times that the Oscars actually got it right. Some things where you went, oh, yeah, they actually thought about this or accidentally landed on the right thing. Perfect. What do you think of that? I love it. Do you want to start in 1992? Bearing in mind, when I say the year, the movie came out the previous year, most okay. of the time. Or I've got the dates wrong. Look, I make mistakes in videos. I'm sure I'll hear about it. So in 1992, Silence of the Lambs was awarded Best Picture. That's a good movie. I agree. It also had a great sequel, Hannibal. Just kidding. Not very good. But <laughs> yes. uh, Beauty and the Beast was nominated that year. JFK, Prince of Tides, and Bugsy. So these movies, I'm like, yeah, out of those, I'm very happy that Silence of the Lambs happy like it matters <laughs> uh the science of the lambs won out in that particular case if we skip back mason to 1958 Brid- why would we but all right bridge over the river Kwai, yes. which may not be an entirely accurate movie because they didn't blow up that bridge in real life didn't really happen they built the bridge they built the bridge one over paint and place witness the protection and 12 angry men so arguably though 12 angry men that's a good movie too a good movie so it's mm-hmm. like what do you like anger or bridges yeah you know that's what the academy had to decide but if you like bridges you, you see a bridge explode so you maybe wouldn't like that that's true. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But if you like people building a bridge and getting over it, yes. metaphorically, mm. maybe you'd like 12 Angry Men because they come to a conclusion at the end. 12 Angry Men also has your favourite kind of acting where you just stoic for a bit and then you yell. Yes. Which is, which is oh, my God, it's my acting. absolute favourite. It's <laughs> what acting used to Old be. Old-timey acting. Acting's now about getting in the mind of the serial killer you're going to pretend to be. How it's move. <laughs> just be very quiet for a bit and then start shaking and explode. That's how it works. Like a bridge on the River Kwai. That's right. Mm. Let's jump ahead, though. Oh my God, this is going to be all over the place. I know. In 1995, it may not have won Best Picture, but Pulp Fiction won Best Original Screenplay. You can't really argue with that. It's a the, good, the narrative yeah. structure of that film hadn't really been seen before. People were like, we like this movie and think it's a good movie. Mm. Maybe it was too much for people. It may have been, yeah. Mm. Who did it not beat? I think Forrest Gump won that year, I believe. Okay. And people right, love right. Forrest Gump. Wow. I bet Quentin Tarantino felt like a real Forrest chump. Got him. I got him. <laughs> Finally got him. Let's jump ahead in time, Mason. Do you come oh, with me? Oh, God. All right. Is this too much for you? No, it's, it's a real pop fiction of video <laughs> narrative. Let me I was going to put him in order, but then people are like, oh, no, he's just gone to the old movies now. I feel like people would leave. So now I'm Rare, mixing Good point, it up, actually. You know good point. Yeah, yeah, Keep yeah, that yeah. engagement high. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, I meant to say leave a like. Leave a like if you want to. I suppose do that up top. I'm the best kind of engagement. I like it. Is it? Yeah. Best kind of engagement is two people, happy and love, get engaged. That's what I feel. Is this going to segue into a movie about marriage or you really fluffed it no this is perfect okay in 2018 roger deakins uh, won best cinematography for blade runner 2049 perfect the union of man and award for something that he should have won multiple multiple times prior Mm. to this but hadn't the perfect union of robot man and big holographic lady (laughs) that's right he was nominated 14 times wow and also what i like about this is it's not a gimme it's not like uh yeah we'll just give you one because you know you've done some good work not a lifetime achievement award blade runner 2049 is an outstanding looking movie Mm. this guy did skyfall true grit no country for old men assassination of jesse james those were in the same year i believe also yeah wow fargo shawshank all these movies also look different imagine being that guy and like 13 times in a row (laughs) maybe even don't show up like at the last the last five you're mm. like, I'm not going to get it, so why bother? Yeah, it, You win, and then you're at home just in your underpants. And you're like, oh, jeez, and you've got to put your tuxedo on and run to the, the hall last second. <laughs> That's a perfect segue into our next movie. Is it Man Running in His Underpants? <laughs> no, in 1993, uh, uh, the best picture was Unforgiven. Oh. Which I think was a really good cap off to that era of those westerns that they didn't really make at that point. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. I think Unforgiven's a terrific movie. It's a really great performance by Clint Eastwood as well. This beat The Crying Game, A Few Good Men, Howard's End, Scent of a Woman. Ooh! Ooh. There's some good movies in there. Yeah, with some I, great catchphrases. Yes. Ooh, ah, and I've won the crying game, you know? <laughs> so, that's great. That's a great win. Mm-hmm. In 1980, for I'll best... Jump, he's still jumping around in time. I'm jumping around. For best visual effects, mm-hmm. Alien, which came out in 1979, 
just reminding people of that because people are like, I only didn't come out in 1980. I know, I set it up top. Right. This is the year after. Yes. This is actually a list that I think is mostly accurate. Okay. In terms yeah. of like best special effects. Because mm-hmm. the movies that have won are like the original Star Wars, Terminator 2, Jurassic Park, Titanic, Matrix, 2001 Space Odyssey, uh, Avatar, Roger Rabbit. It's a good list. Oh, absolutely. And I know there's years where, oh, I don't know, should have this beaten that or whatever. But mm-hmm. you look at those winners and you're like, yeah, that makes sense. But these days I feel like visual effects and special effects, you can put an incredible amount of work into the visual effects and they're so good that people don't notice. Like That's it's subtle true, things. Yeah. It's it's given somebody a tear or like sweat. That's or actually a good point because looking mm-hmm. at this list. They or all a have, giant gorilla. Or a giant gorilla. Rampage. Yeah, Rampage. Yeah. I was thinking of the movie <laughs> Rampage, yes. Because also, yeah, you might be right because looking at these, these are all flashy, groundbreaking special effects. Mm, yeah. And a lot of times special effects are just kind of stuff so subtle that you might not even notice. Like a know? giant gorilla. Like a giant gorilla. Or a giant wolf man that's got wings. Got wings. Yeah. Rampage. The movie Rampage. The movie Rampage. It's not yes. good. It's not a, but it should have won. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That giant wolf with hands. Yeah, it's the subtle things. Yeah. yeah. How about this though? In 2008, No Country for Old Men won. That's a good movie. Uh, but it also beat out Atonement, Juno, Michael Clayton, There Will Be Blood. That's a bumper year. That is a really good so year. So I feel like any of these, I'd be like, yeah, okay. I imagine that when uh, when No Country for Old Men won in the, the hall, there was a resounding, oh, yeah, it, well, they're all pretty it was, good. It was a good movie. It was, it was a good movie. That was a good movie. That's fair, fair call. Yes. In 1987, though, Mason. Yes. Actor Paul Newman, who'd never won an Oscar for his acting. But won several for his salad dressings. Correct. He was much richer from salad dressings than he was from acting, actually. That's amazing. Yeah, I know, right? He did a lot of good work in his time as well. With the salad dressings. With the salad, but also charities and such. He was, he was probably yeah. a very good man. Yeah. Exactly. Gave also, away a lot of salad dressing. He's from that school of acting where you're quiet, then you shout a bit, but mm. he didn't do that. Yeah. He, I think there's yeah, some real subtlety that's to true, him. Yeah. I mean, he did a little bit of it, but mm-hmm. he's, uh, I think he's a, he's a terrific actor. But he'd been nominated eight times before, including for Cat in the Hot Tin Roof and The Hustler and Cool Hand Luke. Never and won. Thousand Island. Yes. And the, Vinaigrette. For that excellent dressing. But he won for The Colour of Money, which is like a sequel. The sequel to, to the, the, Hustler. the Hustler, yeah. I think that's also kind of like a, it's a bit of a kind of an, an acknowledgement, but also I think he definitely deserves it. For, that. for sure. It's a combination. Did you know both The Godfather and Godfather 2 won Best Picture? Beating out movies like Cabaret, Deliverance, The Emigrants, Chinatown, The Towering Inferno, Lenny, The Conversation. Good movies in there. Mm. Uh, Godfathers beat them all. Wow. Yeah. And yet, not as good as a single slice of Godfather's pizza. Oh, yeah, that's very true. Or, in fact, Godfather the video game. You think that's that's a good one? Yeah, and part three. Those I feel like people sleep on those. Yes. Those two interpretations of the Godfather are better than the first two. That's right. Wow. <laughs> I want to hear your comments. Yeah. Because I, I know there's a bit of debate here, mm-hmm. but I think I'm in the camp of most people who agree that the video game is better than the movies. For sure. I mean, you know, it's all good to have, you know, this epic sweeping saga of, of this, you know, organised crime family and their trials and tribulations, but also platform levels. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Imagine mm. GTA, but you're like you're one of the Godfather people. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. And the Godfather 3 is also, it's terrific. There's some good stuff going on. That's right. Uh, in 2004... Never seen a quick time event in a bloody Godfather movie, let me tell you that You're much. not wrong, Mason. Mm. That's why they're not that good. I'm with you. <laughs> that's right. So in 2004, The Lord of the Rings returned Turn of the King won. Now, I don't think it's the best Lord of the Rings movie. I think this is a bit of... He actually made three movies in a row and they're all really good. And we forgot to give him an award for any of the previous two. Yeah, so yeah, right. let's give him one at the end, yeah. That being said, Lost in Translation, Master and Commander, Mystic River, Sea Biscuit. I don't know if I enjoyed any of those as much as I enjoyed Return of the King. It's not the movie with the most acting <laughs> or the or the least silly movie. Yep. You no, know, it doesn't have to be a, a movie grounded in reality with a, a horse that's not as good as Farlap. Uh... <laughs> Our far lap, Australia Zone. Um, I think Farlap was technically Whatever, <laughs> whatever. For a long time, it was just the movie most people enjoyed. Yeah. So why not? Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. I'm with you then. i got a couple left here related to music. In 1976, Jaws won for best score. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Here dun, comes dun, dun. the shark. Here he comes. Look out. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Now I'm the shark. <laughs> this is from the perspective of the shark. That's right. People don't know it, but if you listen to the credits, there are lyrics to that song. That's right. Yeah. So, of course, Jaws wins. Yeah. And I know like, there's a simplicity to it, but that's yeah. also why it's great. That's right. He's yeah. a shark. He wants to eat some yummy people. I just meant the music. Like It's a very simple But also the of narrative of the movie. Also narrative, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Here I come. <laughs> you can't stop me. I'm Jaws. I've been stabbed or exploded in that one. Do you explode in that one? Yes. Good movie, probably. Uh, and of course, it, the original Shaft movie won for best song. Because of course it did. That's a good song. So that makes sense to me. Anyway, mm. if anyone's got any awards that they'll like... I think the Superfly soundtrack's better. Oh, right. really? Yeah. Did it come out the same year, though? I don't know. Then shut up. All right, I will shut up. <laughs> uh, I'm curious, though, if people are like, what's 
what's an award that they got snubbed? What is it? What's an award? I or, don't know what it is. I went through this entire video not understanding what an award was. <laughs> I also said snubbed. I meant they deserve to win it. Mm. It could be either. It doesn't yeah, matter. Sure. Look at these. Just name movies in the comments. That's all we want. Think of a movie. Say it in the comments. That's mm. it. Like the video. Subscribe say to the video. Sub say a name of a movie. We'll even take a TV series. You like The Sopranos? Yeah. Just say The Sopranos. That's fine also. Yeah. Also, if you want to give us a TV series, probably shouldn't because it wouldn't be good. We'd just do it like no. this. Yeah, right. Like we wouldn't practice or anything. I mean, all I can say is it would be better than The Godfather 1 and 2. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be better. It's not hard, it's is not, it? It's not difficult, is it? Right? <laughs> we'll do it on the day. All right. Uh, we also have a podcast called The Weekly Planet, which you're probably not going to be interested in now. But look, it comes out every Monday. I guess we'll be talking about the Oscar results for a little bit, I guess. I don't, I'm not really interested. Wow. Unless somebody like reads the wrong name or somebody falls down some stairs. Or like if Clint Eastwood yells at a chair. Yeah. For, for some <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're, we're leaving. Goodbye. Okay, grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you next week.